We've all done it. We've been sewing along and we find that the machine just sounds awful. What are we talking about here? We're talking about probably the machine not being threaded correctly. And as I even tried to use this scissor button, the machine just can't handle it. And I'm gonna show you why. So first off, if you do get the gears, that's not a problem. Just gonna, I'm gonna take my hand wheel and kinda go back and forth a little bit. But this is what I wanna talk about in this video, is when you flip it over and you've just got a total mess of threads. So usually this is where people um, sometimes go looking in the bobbin and is that where the problem in is? It actually is not. This is usually a top thread issue. And for me to actually get this for you, I had to unthread the top tension discs. And that's usually what the problem is. Now, of course, if you haven't changed your needle lately, cleaned and oiled this Bernina 570 Quilters Edition lately, you need to do that uh, every time you sit down to sew. Make sure you're putting a drop of oil in there. Check out our cleaning and video, uh, cleaning and oiling video and go from there. Let's talk about threading the machine with purpose. What are we talking about at that point? We're talking about making sure the presser foot is up when you thread the machine and probably holding on to this thread with your right hand while you thread the machine with your left. And as you go down through this area, give the thread a little pull and floss, and that will make sure to seat the thread firmly in the tension discs. And the way you can actually tell if you've done it correctly is when you go to lower the presser foot, this thread should be tight. Oh, I'm still doing my cut from earlier. That's awesome. All right, so foot down, thread is tight. That will eliminate all those nests that you see on the back of your fabric when you haven't threaded the machine correctly. Also, if there's ever any threads that get caught down in the bobbin area, you've got to get those cleared out. Make sure you get down there, look really close, and if you have any threads caught, that will also cause these kind of jamming effects. But I knew for this one, our little tension test that we talk about, um, the top, it's more of a top thread issue than a bobbin issue. Just because it's on the back of the fabric doesn't mean that it's in the bobbin. So if you're unsure, just rethread the entire machine. You can rethread the bobbin, put in a new needle, clean it, put a little drop of oil where you're supposed to, and if it hasn't been into your local Bernina store for an annual cleaning lately, get that scheduled immediately. That will make also a difference. So these machines will work great, but you do have to take care of them. Just make sure if you, when you're threading them, you make sure it comes all the way down that tension area and this machine will work flawless. We have over a hundred videos that we are doing on the Bernina 570 Quilters Edition, both on the sewing and embroidery side. So check out sewingmastery.com for all those extra tutorials that you can watch for free.